This is awful trash. Yeah. Perhaps we could go out for a wee while. What would you be running to at this time of night? We could have a wee drink in the stoker. Oh, that place is full of degenerates. Elliot, I think I have a... It must be. I don't know. Bram Stoker was Irish, or that he got his inspiration here. See, this land belonged to an evil old hooter named Abertag, right? And he, he drained people's blood and drinking like water. Locals tried to kill him, but he just kept rising, looking for more. Like Dracula. Fuck Dracula. Folks around here don't like that word. Fuck? Dracula. You literally have a painting of him outside the bar. We may as well get something out of the fact Stoker came here. Pillaged our legend and used it. To write the greatest horror novel of all time. Was it worth a read, is it? But you haven't actually read it? Our lad Abertach. He was Neve Nuri, which is Gaelic for undead. <laughs> You've done your homework anyway? Yeah, she loves this shit. And what you probably don't know is that a chieftain called Catton stabbed the fucker through the heart and buried him out here. Someone from our town killed the original vampire, and we don't even get the credit. Because since then, no one's at the balls to move his grave. Some people say if you get too close, you'll spontaneously start to bleed. Like he's sucking it out of you? Just by being close? Uh, sucking without sucking. Doesn't prove shit. Strucker came to Six Mile Hill, wrote this story, a few years later releases Dracula. Did he ever say he was actually inspired by this story? The story of Avertak is the first story ever written down about a blood-drinking creature. And he's buried under there. It's a pile of rocks in a field. I've lived in that house all my life. My dad owns this land, and I am telling you, there is something underneath those stones. And if you get close enough, you'll hear it. Like we all did when we were kids. All right. Try it. Fine. Be careful, mate. Go on. Go on. Some things are older than science. Older than God. The Earth has its own secrets. Jesus, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> what was some roaring you were doing there, Chief? Just <laughs> hugging an old hand. Huh? You fucking pricks! Come on. <laughs> no point tramping all the way out here, not getting a bit of a scare. Haven't you guys got anything better to do? Nope. No, we don't. Man will never be in her bed again. Bet you dumps them before they even get back in the plan. That was a wild ream of shite you gave them. Some things are older than God. I'd love to know if there's actually anything under there. We'll find out soon enough if this bypass goes ahead and rips through these fields. 
Cut over the stalker again, huh? You'll never learn. Probably not. Told you you were staying in that bar all night. I wasn't in the bar. That's only a mixer I can spare. Cheers. Have a bunch of broken slat and pit walls in the shed. Groundwater getting in. Gee, you have no cows. I'll make it a few. Well, I know much start rearing kangaroos. Why don't you sell this old place on? I wouldn't have wanted it sold. Aye, and she wouldn't want to see you buried when the whole fucking thing tumbles in her in you. Bones are solid, Dad. When you come in for a cup of tea and I'll show you. No, not too much on. Are you busy otherwise? Taking away. I have a job you want. We're doing the ground work on the new bypass. You're joking. I'm not. People in town are gonna go mental. I've got an old pile of stones. Anyone can come and see me. Dad, you're putting William and his parents off their land. I was thinking that you could run the job. Time your name was gonna say to that fall. I'm all right. Grant, then you can pay me full rate to rent this mixer. Give me a lift. Get up in the fucking back. All morning. Was her match today? <laughs> well. You're a wild man. You said you'd give me a wee lift home, or did you forget that as well? What's that in your hand? Don't worry about what's in my hand. We thought you were dead. Okay, so who stood in for me? We probably needed two men in fairness. <laughs> SP. What? He can only run the length of himself. Sure, neither can you. <sighs> SP is actually not a bad player. Well, did he score? No, nobody scored except your man here. Fifteen. Is your but why are you having it here? Still no hot water at my place. This is your one disaster of a cup. What is this dirty old head doing on my kitchen table? Mm, Footy on the ground under the shed. I know this sounds stupid, but do you reckon Ma's house is built on some kind of historical site? She, she, you know what the people are like in this town. Everybody grounds on a historical site. I was thinking I could call an archaeologist or something. Maybe they'll pay me to dig. Is that your big plan, is it? It's a human head. But that somebody's bound to be interested in finding out who it belongs to. It probably belongs to some poor her like you. They had no walk and starved to death. That house is in your mother's family for generations. And she didn't leave it to you so you could tear it apart, to look for old skulls or dinosaurs or fuck knows what else. You need some direction, Cope. What was the score? Oh, well, Hammer. Well, William scored 15 points. Oh, hey, that Cope was as good rate fun as I used to have. Hey. Mm -hmm. How do you play? Me? Grand? Did all right. Right. Take it easy on the sauce tonight. But mass in the morning. Are you all right to get home? Aye. I'll take the uh, shortcut through the field there, sure. Well, I'll have you a torch. No, there's no need, sir. Seriously, it's gone.
on. See if I have another van. Why don't you come with me? They wouldn't give a visa to a boy like me. I told you you should have went to university. Yeah, sure. If only I had your brains. Get you out of this shit hole. Oh, come on, it's all right. You only like it here because it's easy. Well, it's not easy dragging you through this field, that's for sure. And you think that this is where you're supposed to be because you've never bothered your whole looking anywhere else. Well, I look in Australia's wild original. But I suppose you'll fit in with all the other wankers you think you're too good for a home. Stop being a card and tell Claire. Where I will. Oh! Are you serious? Fucking bother it! This again? This again? <laughs> Fucking time! You get drunk, man! Do you really need to stay off those shots? Fuck! <laughs> Sorry, man. So you should be. <sighs> Fucking stones are still sharp enough. Are you okay? I <sighs> stings. Two pints of stout there, Thomas. Find somewhere else to drink, Chief. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Thomas? Give us a pair of pints. You moffats are nothing but trouble. Not only do you get William killed, but you're doing the job that is going to ruin this town. The two of you should never have been in that field. I heard you're even going to toss the car. It's one of the only fucking reasons people come to this town. You're not welcome here anymore. Let's go. That's grand. Many a man had a drink with me, but you didn't. Nah, you know what? I wouldn't drink the piss in here anyway. You'd have better off drinking me own fucking piss. I'll never darken that prick store again, you know that? Fucking yuppie cunt. Just where did you get this yoke from? Found it outside my mom's house. Do you reckon it's a man or a woman? <laughs> How could you tell? Well, let's see, you can tell by the skull size. I wouldn't worry myself about them pricks up the road, man. They're making a mountain out of them all. Oh, well, that's P. Williams dead, man. It's not your fault George Bo can't handle his best. Maybe I should go away. <laughs> I wouldn't bother me, Ballas. I've been out there, and there's nothing there. And I still ended up in this kip. So where would you even go? I don't know. Somewhere I could get a fresh start. You need money for that carry-on, Chief. Unless you got some job I don't know about. Thing like I told you to. I was gonna do it tonight. It's not a good one, Claire, sitting there stalled. This is day one, Eugenia. We have 10 machines and 30 men on this site this time next week. It needs to be ready. And get that pile of stones tossed. Sorry for dropping you in it, but you know he is right, Eugene. Like, why didn't you put any fucking diesel in the fucking thing? You know, this is day one. You ought to smarten up, cub. Oh, funny. I'm more now you poach me old dumper. Back to work. George? Eugene. How you doing? Oh. Struggling on. 
How long do you know you're the host doing this job? There's not a good deal on. Government rule on the bypass. Did you know the night William was killed? Were you keeping it a secret then? Look, I'm leaving soon. You won't have to see me anymore. Well, maybe Pauline and I'll do that. You know, next week when we're thrown out of our house, get a flat in the city, start over. No kids or grandkids holding us back. What do you want me to say, George? What did you see here that night? Nothing. I'm gonna give you some advice, because I've known you since you were a wee boy. Don't toss this current, Eugene. You're not fucking cut out for all this. Gabriel, let's tear it down. Not a chance, Cub. What? I'm not gonna be responsible. For what? There's a cheeky old vampire. You actually meant it. Eugene! What's the hell up here? No, hold up. Go for these and that dump for you. You give him a hand. She'd be disappointed some fucker didn't jump out and try and bite her necks. Huh? You know what people in Six Mile Hill are like. They're gonna be pissed off about us tossing the car. And the plant's so old, I don't think anyone would wanna steal it, but you never know. They're not to pass me. Here, I'll keep you warm. Thanks, Eugene. Sure, we all just need a, a hand up now and again. Enjoy it. So what do you do? Is it when you leave? Ah, uh, just hell it on. Oh. Have you told France you're leaving? What are you meant? <laughs> just can't see you in Australia. But William. William I could see in Australia. Eugene. Come on. I knew all about his plans. I don't blame you for what happened to him. Your ma was so good looking. Did you ever, did you ever figure out if? Yeah, she meant to do it. Aye. I don't know. None of us do. I know how it feels. Kind of. How old were you again? Seven. Fuck, I still remember it though. He was cutting sticks with a chainsaw that he didn't know how to use, and... Oh, there was so much blood, I, I couldn't stop it, and... By the time I got back with a neighbour, um, he, he was gone. Tara? Aye. How is France dealt with it all? I don't know. We haven't talked about her since the day and hour she died.
If you hate the protest, come back in the morning and speak with Francie. If you're the balls, Jeremy. Tell Charlie to them gets open first thing. Did? And why didn't Jesus name that not open? You need a roar more at the man, you Jim. Everyone out the fuck. So you didn't take much soup last night? Ah, uh, just a couple. So did you and Claire, you know? Fuck away all. Hey, Jim. I need to go and see the client. Are you happy after on the safe? All right, cool. I guess I'm in charge. You're sack. Eugene, come look at this. What's going on here, Eugene? We are using buckets of spirit all fucking day. You built that yarn back up? No. Well, who did? That mad drunk you hired to watch the place. Could have been anyone from town, Dad. But I reckon we should just leave it. Yeah, I figured out a way we can bypass it if we just shift everything. You're an engineer now. You know, two months ago you were a farmer. Well, you put me in charge. And I'm three days behind. Look, I'm just trying to help. You don't want me to, fan. I don't have to be here. Are you somewhere else you want to be at? Maybe. Very good. Take Charlie home when I pull in a bit of overtime to get this job back on track. Charlie's not here, man. How you doing, Charlie? <laughs> Dead on, Francie. Can't see how tracking him down is taking all the bastard and day. Jesus. Charlie, what happened? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Yeah, probably loaded and fell. Each, get him off my sake and get him checked out. He's a death trap. I'm on this job myself. <laughs> Shaft's banjacks. Can't we fuck her shit about me? Okay. Just get off the set. If the job three days behind, you've wrecked the van. Now you want to leave the site sitting wide open. Why don't we just do ourselves a favor and drive the whole thing into the fucking lake? There's something really, really wrong with that. There's something even more wrong. If he keeps busting my good lamps! Charlie! Charlie, them lumps ain't cheap! If you bust now, then I swear to Christ, I will take into you like a good day's work! <laughs> Give me up! Is that Charlie? Did you see how fast he moved? I've never seen the whole walk straight line. Hang on, when you said he tried to bite you. Huh? Like, 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 like a cunt! You come with me and bring something to swing. You stay here and get that dumper started. I want to help. Don't argue, Eugene. This is serious. I'm in charge here. Gabriel, we're coming, lad. Kate. Uh, on the table. Charlie. Fuck. Fucking late. I know I left from here. That space always fucking moving. She fucking hell. Come on. Fucking SP. Oh, man. 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 Oh,
Where is he down in the fucking ledge, do you think? Look, do you know the best thing I'm there? Oh, sweet Christ. It's a lump of a hard hat. You eat shit! The number started. We're dealing with serious crack here, so we found Charlie. Where is the fucker? Stone dead. What? Jesus. Is that my new pool? That is disgusting. Uh -huh. Maybe he was on drugs. I took the coke once. And the six different scraps didn't feel a thing. That ah, doesn't look like drugs. What if it's the care? Like, we... We find it built up exactly the way it was, and then Charlie doesn't show up till night and attacks us. Ah, but if that was the problem, wouldn't he have burnt up when the pole went through his heart? Yeah, wouldn't he have fangs or some shit? Maybe he was gonna grow some? Wait up, PJ. He's not gonna grow fangs. That bastard just full drunk. <laughs> Come on, like, what are we supposed to do about this? <laughs> what, are, what are we supposed to do about this? Where's he going? Well, maybe give him back his heart, SP. Throw it in, throw oh, it in. Toss it. Oh, fuck. That's the best yet. <laughs> Dad! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You never know what to do. <laughs> Good job, Corey. That'll put an end to the fucking mischief. Oh. Da, Espy. Sweet oh. Christ on the cross, what is it gonna take? Stones, Claire! We need more wind! Take some explaining. Well, tell the cops our security guard was high on drugs. And we buried him after he killed our digger driver with a hard hat. You think how bad? Yeah. He turned into a vampire, doesn't kind of sound right, does it? There's nothing but this tells me we're dealing with a vampire. I've seen hens stay alive for a couple of minutes after the cut. Ah, the we're not dealing with two fucking dead hens here. Look, we all love to take the piss out of tourists for coming here, yeah? But the night William died, I saw something weird. His blood was getting sucked down into the earth under the care like there was something under there drinking it. Maybe it was Avertak drinking it. Maybe he's still alive down there in the fucking dirt. So what? The stones were just there to hide him down? You mean the stones you just moved? What's that? Fuck this, I'm out! Fuck this. You boys been sniffing diesel fumes. Charlie and Gabriel are dead, George. <laughs> Call on the police. What I say about the keys, George?
How you doing, Pauline? General, I'm there. What do you think? She got worse after the funeral. Look, I know this sounds mental, but we might have let Avertak out the ground. Shut up, Eugene. Do you think we've had enough to deal with? He doesn't come in yet. Ah, uh, maybe your vampire stayed in the dirt. Or maybe he's gone to town. What? For a pint and a stoker? Right. Eugene, we need a plan. <laughs> Six Mile Hill pays an eye. Cal. Oh, she's Jean Muffet. What's the crack lad? Uh, not much, just need to report something. You should really ring 999 first, but anyway, go ahead. What'll I say? Let me talk to him. Uh saw somebody hanging about the town earlier. Look, all right, got it. What were they doing? Being kind of creepy and suspicious, probably worth checking it out. Where'd you see this from? The front window of the Stoker? Barred from the Stoker. Uh, so, uh, what did this person look like? Ah, uh, he was... tall with... dark skin. That's not a crime, Eugene. We are a welcoming community and... Just go out and take a look around the town, okay? Promise me. I suppose I could go stretch my legs. Fucking useless. We need to check this ourselves. George, can we have the keys to your Jeep? Absolutely not. Hi, driver. Oh. Thanks, George. All the best. SP. Shotgun! Shotgun! Fucking SP! Never look. Go straight to your parents' house, Francie, please. Thank you. Where are you going? What if you get? See, look, that, that's the same every morning we go to the say. But to turn around and get his phone or his fucking hair gel. Charlie's drink? When is that cop ever going to get himself sorted? Jesus Christ! George? Eugene. Dirty bastard. You reckon that's for the barbecue or something? You steal my Jeep and I still can't get rid of you. Why is there a bottle of Charlie's cheap sauce in your Jeep? Well, you were too high for looting a drinker, wouldn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of this shit. Look, you're going to answer the fucking question. Hold on, Jack. Hold on. Yeah. I'm not going to let you hurt me. Maybe just calm down, George. OK, I know we've all wanted to shoot Francie at one point or another, but now, now is not the time. I'll give you a choice, Eugene. You can turn around and walk away. Or you can stay and find out the truth. Or you'll not be the same. <laughs> Crack? William's down there. What the fuck are you doing? Was it sore? Of course it's sore. It was neck surgery. Well, he's like when you shut his eyes. Hey, you try playing on our team without William Bogue. See how well you do. 
And you think you're supposed to be mixing that with the medication? Doctors are assholes. Uh... What are you looking at, mate? Hey, pervert! Me and her are just friends, you're not gonna see anything. What? The stitches just popped. <laughs> you're proper stoned. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan, get up. Ryan. Ryan, get up. Ryan, get up! Maybe with a biscuit or two. Fuck up, SB. What happened after he died? I wanted to prepare him for burial myself. Please. Please. Just hand this job to someone. I don't want anyone else doing this. Please, please. This must have been some shock. No, it was no big fucking deal, Francie. What happened next, George? He was weak. So I locked him in the good room. You were going to kill me. <laughs> and that's all you're going to take from the story. No, I'm sort of offended myself. I haven't even known you that long. What would you do if it was your son? Oh, Jesus, I'd have, I'd have him put down. Cheers, Francie. That's not your son, though, George. He was a good person. Is that me? Yeah, that's true. He was a loyal sort of boy. And you could always count on him to give you a wee kick in the arse if you weren't doing your best. <laughs> I you never try and weasel over around. Fuck knows if that thing would even bite you a pint. Hmm. <clears throat> He'd always good manners when he was over there. That's it. What? That's all you remember about him. Well, what do you want? The cop had good fucking manners. He had a great right foot. Probably the, the best right foot any man ever had in Six Mile Hill. Just were awful good friends, do I miss having you about the place. Sure. I suppose we're here now. Ah, uh, yeah. This is lovely. Fuck up, SP. You can't stay like this, George. You know that, right? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're all right, Trio. You're all, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right, Trio. You're a dead on. Come on. Give me that fucking Jesus thing there. Jesus, We need to leave. Wait. Help me. I will me balls. Please. Help me finish this. For William. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll help you. I. Me too. Moved to the wrong fucking town. But, uh. How do we do it? 
We need better weapons. Sure, you kill fuck all with this shite. What about sunlight? I mean, that is the number one vampire killer, surely. Are there any ideas in there? The problem with this book is it's fiction. But what's in there, and what's out there, is reality. And the reality is, you can't kill these things. A stake through the heart will weaken them, but to really stop them, you have to bury them under the earth and pile the grave with stones. That's a load of shit. What about decapitation? What? He's hardly gonna grow a new fucking head, is he? No, like when he's he's right, he's right. Aye, if it works on William, it might fucking work on Avertac. Aye. How do we do it? I'm definitely not going into that room near that man. What sort of tools you got, George? You doing know him? Come on, Mike. What are you doing? What you doing? No avatar. Fuck him. What do you call your man that uh, bade Abertag the first time? Can. Well, he was able to pour our friend in the ground and he didn't even have electricity. Well, what if he thinks Calvin's still alive? Well, he'd want to be a pretty stupid fucking vampire there, wouldn't he? Yeah. Well, maybe he'll tear the town apart looking for someone who isn't there. So everything's still quiet, Nick? Nothing strange going on? I'm serious, Eugene. If you call me again, I'm going to plant drugs in you and throw you to the mercy of the court. Is it solid that end? Solid as a rock. Are you sure? Because I don't want this here coming through the side and taking a bed under me. Should he be doing us all a favor? For fuck's sake. Hang on to her. Come to me, Pat. The fucker got me. Oh, Christ, that's me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. No, 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 you're fine. Don't get all fucking melancholy on me now, will you? I had a good enough old run. I gotta fight some vampires. How many men can say that? Sorry, SP. Such a fault. You're a wild man for taking the blame, you know that? <laughs> Tell me, Dad, he was right, will you? 
quit what now? You always said I had no ambition and would probably die in front of a telly with a can of beer in my hand. <laughs> Fuck it. At least it's not a heart attack. How much more are we supposed to take? I mean, this is insane. One mate dead in here and the other down there nailed into a fucking coffin. And the town's probably dead by now and it's all my fucking fault. Seriously, what is the point of any of this? <laughs> this is not shit, all right? I don't want to listen to crap like this. He was just trying to make cub. And you're fucking whining. And I'm about to give up on him. The job's not finished yet, all right? Oh, Christ. She's breathing. Check on James. There's a few people out in the street in the same ship. The poor old Miley Cubby's lying face down in the gutter, blood flowing into the sewers. Aye, but why are we not bleeding? Well, he probably needs to be close. Like he's been going through the town and the blood's following him. Aye, but where is he? Well, maybe there's some sort of an old lair where this is all flowing to. Aye, that'll be paved over a long time ago. I killed a lot of people, so maybe, maybe there are remains, bodies, bones. Shit. What? I know where it is. I'm staying with them. Claire, we'll be back shortly. This will hopefully not be a big job. Come on, Francie. Where the fuck are we going, Eugene? Eugene, have I asked where we're going? to Ma's house. That was his lair. That's why there were so many bones in the ground, like. Oh, he's, oh, oh. Look, he's draining blood out of people in the town somehow, and I bet you it's going there. Why? Because he's hungry and he's pissed off. If I've been on the ground that long, I just want to sit in the house and drink as well. Uh, of course you would. I uh, will. The only difference is if Abertat binges all night, the whole town's gonna be dead as fuck.
She was some character. Ah, uh, she was. I miss her. Every day. Me too, Dad. I just want to stop being angry at her. Just remember the good times. Sound right. Mom's maiden name. Oh, Kim. Can. Oh, she always said she had teeth and blood. I suppose that means you do as well. Fuck are you at? I thought you were giving me a hug. What are you, five years of age? Your arm's bleeding. Come here. A fucking hug. <laughs> Shit. Eyes no, closed. It's going to be looking for you. Because I suppose you're the big chief from now. Wow. That's as much as it's going to affect you. I made it fucking harder stuff than most cops. What the fuck is that? What? Wake up. Come on. You're all right. What happened? You fainted. Your jaw's fucking killing me. I must have hit it on the ground when you fainted. Did you punch me? It really feels like you punched me. Why in the name of Jesus would I punch you? Anyway, it's over. Let's see if I got the fucker. <laughs> Let's 
the bastard here. I'm putting him back in the garage. It's the only thing that'll work. Turns out Sun Lake can't actually care. No. It was invented by some German director like 20 years after the book was written. Guess you learn something new every day. Aye. Glad to see you're filling your days productively, anyway. Claire, this is important shit for me to know. It is. One more for the road. My taxi will be here in a minute. Well, you'll have a great time. Show the Aussies how it's done. Oh, I will. Sure, I'll be back in a year. You can come see the house then. Hey. It's totally livable now. <laughs> Brand new kitchen, the left. <laughs> I'll even cook you dinner or something. <gasps> Definitely, yeah. Sure, I'll avoid all those poisonous snakes and spiders and I'll come back home and get taken out by your fucking cooking. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Eugene. Yeah, good luck there.
That's the new living room done. You done a good job in the wiring. I don't know what the fuck what way you hung that hall door though. I'll fix it anyway. Yeah, cheers, Dad. I left you a bit of stone from the old fireplace. Your granddad must have put that in. So what else has to be done? Just take it easy, come on. The peg leg, Gigi. Not fucking dead. Anyway, plenty of time left in the day yet. <laughs> Seriously, Dad, just go and enjoy your weekend. Will I see you at the match tomorrow? All right, may take a run down. Should be happy. The luck you have in the place. Ah, she would. See you later, cop. See you, Francie. <laughs>